guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is my last day here at the University of Kansas. Nope, you did not hear that wrong. Today, or technically tomorrow because I'm filming this in advance because I want tomorrow to be a happy day, um, is going to be my last day at the University of Kansas. <laughs> wow. I really told myself I wasn't going to cry in this and we are 17 seconds into filming so give me a sec. Okay, yes, I am leaving KU. This is something I never thought I'd be saying, and now this is sounding like a YouTube apology video, but in all honesty, I've wanted to go to KU since middle school. I've always dreamed about being in Lawrence and the bigger city. I've wanted to go to KU for a very long time. I didn't even apply to any other schools because I was so set on coming here. Um, and so part of what has made this decision so difficult is sort of parting with that dream that I've held for so long. There are a lot of things that went into this and I'll talk more in depth about it in a future video, but what it really boils down to is I haven't had the opportunities in my major that I thought I would, and overall the huge campus has just made me feel extremely isolated and lonely and my mental health has been very low. And so I really think that this is the best decision for me. I won't be disclosing which university I'm transferring to because it is much closer to home and I would sleep better at night knowing that that information isn't out on the internet. But I got accepted, their honors college gave me an extremely generous scholarship offer so I won't have to worry about things financially, which is a big relief. And I'll also be part of their newspaper and their audio video and their radio station. And I have a lot of opportunities coming my way that I am very excited about. I know not everybody's going to agree with my decision and that's okay. I'm always telling people to do what's in their best interest and not let the opinions of others weigh them down too much. But that is so much easier said than done. And it's finally time that I have to take my own advice. So we're just, we're gonna do this. It's scary, it's a risk, I don't know how it's gonna work out, but I'm excited and I'm ready to see where this next chapter in my life takes me. Okay, now that sad Alicia has had her moment, um, it is currently December 9th and it is 6.03 in the a.m. You know why? Because I couldn't sleep last night. I have a bit of a cold and a sore throat, and finally I decided instead of laying and tossing and turning for another hour, I might as well just get up, rise and grind, you know? Um, but anyways, today is my last day at KU, so I thought I'd take you guys along with me since you've been here for my first day, a day in the life. Now we're rounding this three-part series out. <laughs> it's kind of sad that I've only made three videos while I've been here, but anyways. Today I'll be taking you guys along with me. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and now let's get on to the video. I've seen this parking lot ever. It's, it's so weird. Spooky. Here we are at the David A. Ambler Student Recreation Fitness Center. This facility is so nice and it's free to KU students. I'm not much of an intense workout gal, but I come here somewhat frequently. I walk on the treadmill, listen to a podcast. I'm a big fan of the This American Life podcast, and today I listened to their episode about the FBI's questionably legal surveillance measures after 9-11, which was super interesting. Today, I walked about three and a half miles, and by the time I was done with my workout, the sun was finally rising and it was getting light outside, and so I sanitized my equipment and then left Ampler for the last time. It is so weird being up this early because on normal Tuesday, Thursdays, I don't wake up till about 9.15. So it is 8 o'clock. I've already gotten my workout in. It's a beautiful morning. And now I'm going to go and get a donut from one of my favorite little bakeries here in Lawrence because I'm, I'm all about balance. Um, so yeah, we're going to go there now and it's, it's going to be a good day. Thank you. 
You can't see it under all my layers, but I'm wearing a Kansas alumni shirt. Kylie, Jeannie, and Allison bought this for me as a going away present, and I love it so, so much. Thank you guys. You are all the absolute best, and I love you. Okay, so there's a tunnel outside of our union, and I've always wondered where it goes, but I've always been scared and I've always been running behind. So today is the day. We are finding out where that union tunnel goes if it is the last thing I do. And hopefully it's I'm not like trespassing or something, but I mean, I feel like it, they wouldn't just put it there. <laughs> like it's there for a reason and I'm going to find out. I am aware that that footage showed basically nothing. It is an emergency exit for the union. And the reason why that footage is kind of shaky and I didn't get a whole lot is if you listen and there's a little key jingling in the background, that was a security guard. Um, and I got scared. Um, so I turned around and we made eye contact on the way up and then we didn't say a word and we just parted ways. Um, but it was still very awkward, so it wasn't great footage, but it's an emergency exit, I guess. I got to my little study nook in Watson Library and took my hair out of my workout ponytail and then I enjoyed my wonderful strawberry cream cheese donut from Munchers and I drank an iced peppermint white mocha from the Union Starbucks and this coffee was actually free today because I used the $5 dining credit I got from taking a random survey at the beginning of the year and I had a dollar and 26 left on a gift card that they gave me at orientation so that is always a good way to start the day with free coffee and then I just chilled did some knitting and it was honestly a very relaxing way to start my day. I still had about 20 minutes before Spanish, so I explored the stacks a little bit. I came down here once when I was procrastinating a project, but it was late at night and I felt like it was the beginning of a horror movie, so I didn't stay down there very long. But today the vibes were nice. You can study in these little study nooks or just browse all the books, and there are so many levels to explore. I definitely recommend wandering around the library sometime because you'll never know what you'll find left Watson and headed to Fraser for Spanish. Most of our course evals are done online, but for some reason our Spanish evaluations were paper, and to make sure that professors don't tamper with their results, a student has to hand deliver the evaluations to the department in Wesco after class. I was given that honor, but because Wesco is laid out so weirdly, I was almost late to my next class, but it was worth it because I carried an envelope that said confidential, and I felt special for a moment in time. I've never ridden a KU bus before because I always walk to class, but I felt like that was something I should experience at least once. You can use the MyBus Lawrence app to see the routes, but the app honestly confuses me and everyone talks about the Red 43 bus. So I hopped on the first Red 43 bus I saw after my comms class and I rode for about 15 minutes and I felt like we were going in the opposite direction of where I was trying to go. So I checked the good old snap maps and here's where I started. That's where I was, and this is where I was trying to go. I stayed on for another 20 minutes or so, but then I started feeling motion sick and I couldn't take it anymore. I ended up having an 11 minute walk to my destination, but it would not have been pretty if I kept riding that bus. In my last video, someone commented about Naismith Drive. The DeBruce Center is located on Naismith Drive and they have a statue of him. I was struggling to get a picture and a stranger stopped and asked if they could help me and it was super awkward, but I truly appreciated their help. Inside the Debrew Center is the Courtside Cafe, and I heard rumors that they have really good mac and cheese, so I went to go check it out. I tried to find a somewhat secluded place to vlog my lunch today, but I really couldn't find anything. I walked around for like 15 minutes, so I'm now on a bench. It's behind uh, Wesco and next to the Anschutz Library, um, so now I'll give you my mac and cheese review. Um, so first off, this is what it looks like. It looks all right. Um, it's pretty much like noodles and sauce, which you know is what mac and cheese consists of. Now after looking at what you just saw there, take, take a gander, take a little guesstimation of how much I paid for this mac and cheese. Um, I'll wait, just think, think of a number. I paid $9.28 for this mac and cheese. Um, this is why I don't eat on campus. I would bankrupt myself. So here's the deal. It's good. I'm not gonna say it's bad. 
Um, it really reminds me of like the Velveeta white cheddar mac and cheese, but like a little better because my issue with Velveeta is sometimes the little cheese packets make the mac and cheese taste like plastic. Um, and this doesn't have like that plasticky texture to it. So I appreciate that. It is decent mac and cheese. I've definitely had better. And I feel like for the price point, I just couldn't justify buying this ever again. Um, I don't regret buying this. I think, you know, you have to try everything once. And it, it, it's decent. Like, it's alright. I just don't think it's $9.38 nice. Alright, so behind me you'll see the Campanile. This is our campus bell tower. And then behind me, if it'll focus, down there is our Memorial Stadium, which is where graduation is each year. So it's tradition for the seniors to walk under the Campanile and then walk down and enter the stadium for graduation. And that's something that I've always envisioned myself doing, is walking under the Campanile, going down and graduating. Um, obviously, I will not be walking under the Campanile with my graduating class, but I thought today I would walk under the Campanile and walk down toward the Memorial Stadium. I actually have walked under the Campanile before. Here's that video. I did it with Miss Kylie, um, but that was at night, so we're doing it in the beautiful weather, and hopefully I don't have any like additional bad luck because I I'm doing this. A little context, there's a superstition at KU that if you walk under the Campanile before you graduate, you won't graduate on time. And since I'm transferring, I'm a little curious how this works because does that bad luck carry with me to my other university? Or since I'll never actually graduate from KU, does that cancel out? I don't know. You should let me know what you think in those comments down below. It's hard to put in perspective just how big the Campanile is. I'm about 5'8", and here I am standing next to it. Google says it's 120 feet tall, and the Campanile is dedicated to those who served in World War II, and inside you can see the names of those who served. About eight months ago, uh, there we are. Uh, we were standing like right there ish for my brother's graduation. This is a nice walk. <laughs> there is, can you see the campanile behind me? There we go. My favorite thing about Kansas weather is it'll be below freezing in the morning, so you will need your winter jacket. But then by early afternoon, like now, it's over 60 degrees. I feel like an absolute clown for carrying around a winter jacket when it's 64 degrees outside. But here we are. But I'm gonna go drop that off in my car. Went to my last J101 class, and as I was walking back to my car, I really tried to soak in my surroundings. It is so beautiful here. Even when I'm not recording, I'll have moments where I mentally take a picture. I don't have photographic memory or anything, but I consciously make an effort to commit that scene to memory, and this was one of those moments. Just finished my last class at KU. We're done, boys. Um, I do need to take like two quizzes, but as far as classes go, that's it. That is a wrap. I just found out that I got a 50 out of 50 on my Spanish reflection that I did today. So that means I've secured the bag. I have kept my 4.0. Here's hoping I can keep my 4.0 the rest of college, but I do know that my curriculum is going to get a lot more difficult before I graduate, and if I get a B here or there, I honestly will not be upset. The main thing is keeping my GPA above a 3.5 though, because that is contingent upon those scholarships that I talked about, so if it drops below 3.5 for more than one semester, that scholarship money goes away. So no matter what, I will keep it above a 3.5 if it is the last thing I do, but this is, it's a small win but it, it's still a win so woohoo this is the most pitiful party ever but I'm proud of myself. Head to go get pizza shuttle I'm excited I'm going to miss pizza shuttle their pineapple cream cheese pizza is on a different level I love it so much and then I'm going to drive down Mass Street because they have it all decorated for Christmas and I'm going to listen to Christmas music and hopefully that'll get me in like a cheery Christmassy mood because this holiday season has just felt a little weird like it hasn't really felt like Christmas yet um like I've had moments here and there but I haven't been as hyped as I normally am 
So yeah, we're gonna look at Christmas lights. about 10 30 I'm clocking out um it's kind of hitting me that I've been up for so long and I have to drive home tomorrow and move out tomorrow and I have a lot to do before my dad gets here at noon tomorrow so good night gamers if you enjoyed this video remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye